Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and today's video we are creating a slick business card animation in After Effects. And best part, no plugin required. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more awesome tutorials. Now let's dive right in. So first of all, let's create a new composition. So click on it and name it scene 1. And keep the setting same 1920 by 1080 and duration 10 seconds. And go to the 3D render and select this advanced 3D and hit OK. After that, I'm going to import my business card. So this is my business card. Size is so bigger. So press S and decrease the scale size. So I'm going to make it 9. All right. After that, we will create ruler lines around this card. So press Ctrl R. Now make this line. So this line will help us to create a rectangle. So click this rectangle and make a shape like this. It should be same size of our business card. So now let's name it depth. Press T and decrease the opacity of this. And expand depth, expand contents, expand rectangle and expand this. We have to make these corners round. Increase the roundness value something like this. So 57 is good to me. Select all layers, Ctrl A to select all and click on it to make them 3D. Okay, so expand the depth and expand the geometry options. Make the exclusion depth value 4. And shrink the layer and click on this back side. Pre-compose it and click on this leave all attributes and name it back side. Same, select this front card. Right click, pre-compose it, name it front side and click on this and hit OK. Let's expand the front side and expand the material options and let's make the sinus value 61%. Same here, back side, expand this one, material options and make the sinus value 61%. Let's change the camera angle to left side. So zoom it. So this is our front side. I'm going to move it little right side and this is back. I'm going to move it left side and go back to the again active camera and fit this screen. And select both of them and map parent with the depth. And press R, change the Y rotation. You will see something like this. But there is a one problem. This back side is reversed. So select this back, right click, transform and change this flip horizontal. Make it zero. So this is looking good now. Select everything, right click, pre-compose it, name it business card and guys hit OK. After that, let's make this business card 3D. So click on it to make it 3D and click on the star icon so that we can see back part of this business card. So press R and if you rotate it, you will see like this. All right. So now let's make the background. So double click on it and I'm going to make the color something like this dark gray and hit ok and name it background and move it under the business card and lock the layer now press r add all keyframes xyz keyframes in the beginning and press p at the position keyframe and press u to see all of these keyframes change the x rotation value minus 86 move it down like this so now let's add the shadow catcher so double click on the rectangle and name it shadow catcher and move it under the business card and make this layer 3D as well and press R and change the X rotation value minus 86 degree and move it under the business card and go to the side view and it should be something like this. The R card is above of the shadow catcher. All right, go back to the active camera expand the material options click on this accept shadow click on it to make it only shrink the layer go to the around 20 frame seconds change this x rotation value 47 degree something like this position i'm going to move it up like this and change the z position value minus 6.5 so it will float something like this but we have to add this shadow in the behind of this card so right click new add the light and add the environment light and hit ok press r change the 
y rotation value minus 97. After that, you will see something like this shadow under of your card. If your shadow is not coming, then click on this render options and click on this fit to scene multiple times and hit OK. After that, go to the few frames second forward here and I am going to change the position of this. So first of all, let's move it up like this. And this value 41.6 and X rotation value minus 10. So card will float something like this. All right. So now let's change the camera angle. So right click new add the camera and I'm going to use this 35 mm camera and hit OK and right click new add the null object and name it camera controller and make this null object 3D. Select the camera and make parent with the camera controller null object and press R and change the X rotation value minus 6 and Y rotation value 80 degree and it will look something like this. Duplicate this scene 1. So control duplicate this scene 1. So double click on open this scene 2. This is our duplicated scene. I'm going to make this X rotation value 0 and Y rotation value 0 as well and select this environment press R and I'm going to make the environment light minus 134. So it will look like this of this environment light X rotation value. Let's make it 97 degree. So select this business card press U to see your keyframes and go to the this second keyframe and press S at the scale keyframe and press U to see all of these keyframes and go to the third keyframes and make the scale value 79 percent and click on it to add this keyframe as well Y and Z rotation keyframes after that go to the three seconds and change the X rotation value something like this minus 80 and Y rotation value minus 139 it will rotate something like this and Z rotation let's make it 4 and go to the around 4.5 seconds here change this Y rotation value let's make it minus 199 and this Z rotation value let's make it 3 and if you play this animation it will look like this after that go to the 5.12 seconds and change the value of this let's make it Y rotation value 213 minus 213 and Z rotation value 10 and X rotation value minus 23 now guys let's add the keyframe of the position and keyframe of the scale and go to the 6 seconds 6.16 make the scale value 100 percent and X rotation 0 Y rotation 0 and Z rotation 0 as well and I'm going to make this Z position value minus 547 and let's move it in the center like this Let's make this zoom rotation value something like this. And if you play the animation, it will look like this. Select this camera controller and press P. And I just want to make this card in the center. So let's move it like this. Let's little bit zoom in. Let's remove these rulers. So this shadow is cutting, so select this shadow catcher and press S. Increase the shadow catcher scale size. But and screen is too bigger. Select the business card pre-composition. So let's make the this one minus 570 and move it in the center like this. Make this Z rotation more like this and play the animation. Alright, after that, let's make a new composition. So click on it and name it Final Comp and keep the duration 10 seconds and hit OK. And select Scene 1 and Scene 2 and drag and drop into the Final Comp. Let's keep the Scene 2 above the Scene 1. Let's disable the Scene 2 and go to the few frame seconds. 
so here i want after one seconds let's trim this scene too so i'm going to trim here All right, so this is good. I'm going to add the dark background. So double click on it, trim this till here. I am importing the logo in the composition. So drag and drop and press S. The logo color is different. So I'm going to use the fill and apply onto it and make this logo color white. Size is size is 70. All right, I'm going to trim this here and it will change something like this. Select both of them and move it to the left side a little bit. After that, I'm going to select this logo and press S, add the scale keyframe, and press P to add the position keyframe, and press U to see both of these keyframes, and go to the few frames second forward and decrease the scale size of this end of the logo. So 12 is good to me and center line. So I'm going to use this alignment and this is the center line now and select both of these keyframes and press F9 to resist them. Go to the graph editor and select the right side handles and move it to the left side like this and disable the graph editor. All right, I'm going to make the render area around 8.5 seconds. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you learn something new today. If you like it, please subscribe and leave your feedback in the comments. It really helps the channel grow. See you soon in the next video. Stay creative and inspired.